Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by. This is Sandy from Color Creatively and this is my end of the month video, completed color book pages for December 2022. I worked in three books but I want to show you book one first and then we'll look at the others and um, take a look at my Christmas pictures first. Okay, we did this one um, I believe on camera and it's a lot more bolder than what the um, videos coming across. It's the lighting in here is the best I can do and it sort of washes it out. I put sparkle pop on the stars and on the little black dots and they have a shift in color. And um, I used my Colora Premium colored pencils, Prismacolor new pastels in the background, and the circles to make fake bokeh. I did with the Dr. P.H. Martin's pen white. This is already diluted. It's the same as the um, bleed proof, but this one is already diluted and has a stopper in the bottle, a uh, dropper. Okay, and all these white dots were done with that P.H. Martin and my, um, where did it go? I have a dotting tool our stylus. It has stainless steel ends and there's different size balls at each end. There's five in a pack. They're different sizes. And I dotted it on. I find that works so much better than Posca pen. And the paint doesn't pick up the color of the uh, pencil underneath. And it stays really well and bold. It doesn't <laughs> fade over time. Okay, let's look at the next one. <clears throat> I used the Dina Wakely acrylic paint in the background. It's called Aloe, and it's sort of a greenish neutral color. And then I put in um, Sparkle Pop stars with some dots around the stars with my purple metallic pen from um, Jelly Roll. And uh, Color Premium Pencils. Again, I think the colors are pretty vivid. I like them a lot. And um, I used on the candy and the canes the Folk Art Extreme Glitter Hologram. It's the only one that can go over any kind of colored pencil. And it's an acrylic paint finish that has very, very fine glitter. So, it's one of my favorite glitters. Okay, that was what I did in Seasons by Hannah Carlson. The next book I worked in <clears throat> probably mo most of the month was this one from Johanna Bassford, her Christmas book. Now, I hadn't really used this, and I've owned it since it was printed. So I got into it, and I got in the zone, and so I just kept doing pictures. So let's take a look at how much I could do in this book. Okay, I have this Christmas tree that I did, and I put some... Uh, metallic dots all through the tree as you can see. I have sparkle pop for the ornament up there and down in the trunk and my background was Prismacolor New Pastels and um, I thought that came out festive so uh, that's what I did there on the Christmas tree and then I worked on this reindeer and the background is acrylic paint, and the edging here in the swirls, all the shiny, is uh, gold uh, sparkle pop by Pentel uh, gel pen. And um, I have my PH Martin dots, white dots in here. I have some metallic by um, Jelly Roll here for some stars that I added and then some sparkle pop on the corners with my stars and circles. So that's what I did with that reindeer. And then I worked on <clears throat> the polar bear and the background is again the um, new pastels from Prismacolor. And then I put in stars and I used um, Sparkle Pop Silver, and I outlined them with a micron pen so they would stick out from the background and not just sort of blend in, but bring the 
push the background back and bring the stars forward. And I used a metallic jelly roll for the packages. And down here is my Folk Art Extreme Glitter Paint and Hologram. And I used um, Art and Fly uh, white gel pen for my iceberg. And I like the way it came out. And uh, that's about it. Okay, I said Color Premium Colored Pencils. They're vivid and uh, the pigment's very good in them. Okay. <clears throat> This one I did, and it's the, um, the uh, soft pastel there is, again, the Prismacolor New Pastel. I, uh, on the, I used Jelly Roll um, Metallic for some of this uh, on the ornaments and the bows. I used Sparkle Pop for some of these bows. And I put on the, um, what is that, Extreme Glitter hologram paint, acrylic paint for sparkle. And then I used my sparkle pop pens for the uh, stars and circles I put to decorate around this mandala. <clears throat> and did I say hologram color colored pencils? I don't know if I did. So that's what I used to throughout the whole month, actually. Okay, let's get going here. And I did this picture. I wanted it to be similar to the polar bear, but I'm not sure I like it on the bird. But it is what it is. I can't change it now. I did do the stars to bring them forward and push the background back. And I used uh, the uh, <clears throat> Sparkle Pop with the uh, Micron pen. And then on the packages, they have a uh, metallic jelly roll. And... I used my Color Premium Colored Pencils on this. And you can see just how vivid the colors are. I, I, want, I like vivid colors in my pictures. I don't like them too um, faint. I guess that's the word. And then I did something totally unconventional. I put some gold on the crown and the back, but on the front I used a pencil and a stencil to do these black stars. And this is Sparkle Pop. Uh, gold for the stars here and the uh, perch he's sitting on and on part of the bird and um, then there is the metallic jelly roll on his sweater and he's got a Christmas sweater on and I just decided to try out a chocolate paint background and I think with the gold and the browns and the, it came out okay something totally different instead of black I decided to use a dark brown Okay, that was my Christmas owl. Then I did the uh, clock here, the Christmas clock. And I um, <clears throat> used the Prismacolor New Pastels in the background. Um, I used the um, Jelly Roll metallic pens for the clock, num the stars and the hands on the clock. I used my Color Premium Colored Pencils for the clock and the packages. And there's some Jelly Roll Metallic here on the bows. So, and the ornaments. So that's how that came out. <clears throat> and then I did this rabbit here from Johanna Basford. Uh, this is acrylic paint, the blue, red, and green here and the background. I have a Deco Art Metallic Silver paint for the stars and the dots that I put on again with my dotting tool. I use this to put them on. And um, on the corners, a Sparkle Pop gel pen for the stars. And um, I have some metallic pen on these uh, leaves that sparkle a little bit. So that's how my Christmas rabbit came out. And did I say color colored pencils? I'm going to tell you that on every page. So that's what I use this month. Okay, let's go to this one. And um, I have a lime green background, which is darker than it's coming across on camera. Let me hold my book up. But uh, it's lime green. And I have silver. Uh, dots that I put on with the um, 
dotting tool and the Deco Art uh, metallic paint. I wish I would have put gold on there now, but I've got silver and gold um, sparkle pop on the ornaments uh, attachment and the ribbon. And um, again, the chlor colored pencils and the jelly, uh, not jelly roll, but this um, sparkle pop on the stars and circles I use to decorate the edges. Okay, let me move on to my last book that I worked in this month, and that's Worlds Within Worlds by Kirby Rosanis. And I did a double page spread, and I have uh, two videos on this. You might want to follow that. And this is the final um, pro pictures colored. I used some sparkle on the purple on the dinosaur, and it's the Folk Art Extreme Glitter Paint. Uh, again, you can see the vividness of my color pencils, and I did texture this whole dinosaur. Every little mark that Kirby put in there for texture, I used my colored pencil on. He's not textured on his belly. He just has these folds of skin, and I just, um, you know, shaded those. And um, there's um, metallic up here on this little light and down here on some other um, little lights or telephone poles or whatever you want to call it. My telephone poles are gray and black. And um, I have my <clears throat> dinosaurs here in the background, the rocks underneath. So this was an alcohol, um, not alcohol, acrylic wash through most of this. And then I detailed with pencil. So I have two videos on that if you want to check it out. Okay, I hope you enjoyed seeing what I worked on in the month of December. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Um, I appreciate hearing from you. And it also a uh, thumbs up and a comment will help my channel grow. It uh, will push me forward the algorithm on YouTube will show my videos more. So I appreciate if you would do that for me. Anyway, I hope you have a great coming New Year's um, holiday. This is the Friday before New Year's on Sunday. So Happy New Year's to all of you. And I will see you all again in 2023. We're going to do a lot of great pictures and we will have a lot of fun. So until we meet again, happy coloring.